Good morning. Good morning on this, on this beautiful morning for which we are very grateful. Dear graduates, family, friends, distinguished guests, welcome to the 29th annual commencement ceremony of the American University in Bulgaria. Please remain standing for the playing of the Bulgarian and American national anthems. Please be seated. <clears throat> For those of you graduating today, this is a long anticipated moment, a culmination of countless hours of work towards a very worthy goal. Receiving an academic degree is a major milestone in a person's lifetime. The ceremony today marks two additional landmarks in the lifetime of AUBG itself our 29th class of bachelor's graduates, and our 21st executive MBA graduating cohort. Each and every one of you graduates exemplifies the success of our efforts as a university. We are very proud of you, and we look forward to your many successes and accomplishments we expect you will attain in the years to come. Now I would like to introduce the members of the stage party, beginning with the back row. As I introduce you, please rise and remain standing. I would ask that the audience please hold any applause until all the stage party has been introduced. The chair of the faculty assembly, Professor Carter Mandrick. The official, people love Carter. Um, the official reader of the ceremony, Professor Nadyalko Delchev. The outstanding executive MBA graduate, Dina Jabali. The other outstanding executive MBA graduate, Christo Kirchev. The presidential medalist and president of the student government, Veljana Georgieva. The valedictorians of the class of 2023, Nicoletta Stefanova and Stephanie Dushilova. The salutatorians of the class of 2023, Irena Georgieva, 
Eva Ivanova, and Lubomira Alexova. Dean of the Faculty, Dr. Robert White. AUBG Provost, Dr. J.D. Minninger. Her Royal Highness, Princess Maria Luisa of Bulgaria, a member of the AUBG Board of Trustees. Our commencement speaker, Manol Pekov, publisher, activist, and member of parliament of the Bulgarian National Assembly, AUBG class of 1995 and EMBA 2008. The chair of the AUBG Board of Trustees, Mr. Michael Marvin. The senior speaker of class of 2023, Christian Petrov. The deputy chair of the AUBG Board of Trustees, Ms. Victoria Entwistle. The mayor of Blagovgrad, Mr. Ilko Stoyanov. And the United States Ambassador to Bulgaria, His Excellency Kenneth Merton. Would you please welcome our stage party? Thank you. And the stage party, please be seated. I would like to ask now our faculty to rise and be recognized for their paramount role in the education of today's graduates and for their extraordinary efforts on behalf of AUBG. Faculty, please join me in recognizing our faculty. Thank you. Now I'd like to recognize members of the Board of Trustees and the University Council. Would the members of the Board of Trustees and the University Council please rise? Thank you so much for your dedication, your commitment, and your service to AUBG. Now, it is my pleasure to invite the chair of the AUBG Board of Trustees, Mr. Michael Marvin, who will present greetings from the board. Thank you. I was asked to give a brief welcome, and I will be brief. And, and that is because it, this commitment is already packed quite well, including the recognition of a leading legend of AUBG and of Bulgaria. First, I would like to welcome the family and friends who have contributed so much to making today a reality for a loved one and have come to recognize the achievements of the graduating class. I would like to welcome both those who are physically here and those who were unable to make the trip, but are very, here very much in spirit. I want to welcome the faculty and staff that have committed their professional lives to preparing these graduates for success in the future life challenges. I want to welcome the support network from individuals from government, business, and the not-for-profit organizations, including the new U.S. Ambassador and our Mayor many of whom will be carrying on relationships with our graduates beyond graduation. I want to welcome the strong and growing body of alumni. They are so active in supporting and improving this institution for the generations that follow. And finally, I want to welcome the graduating class. No one is successful without the help of others, and I have just welcomed the Army that has helped all of you. But without your personal accomplishments, we would not be here today. You follow in the footsteps of graduates that have and are doing much to improve the world we live in. And as I have said many times, I think this institution produces the best graduates for making a productive impact in this crazy world of ours. Thank you for what you're about to do as you enter the prestigious group of the AUBG alumni. Welcome to you all. Now I would like to invite Mr. Ilko Stoyanov, Mayor of Blagovgrad, who will offer greetings on behalf of the Blagovgrad, Mr. Blagovgrad Municipality. Mr. Mayor Ilko Stoyanov.
Уважаеми господин ректор, ваше превъзходителство, уважаеми членове на борда, уважаеми преподаватели, скъпи родители и най-вече вие, скъпи абсолвенти. За мен е чест и привилегия, че днес сме тук заедно. Вече повече от 30 години Американски университет определя и е част от пулсът на Българат. Това, което беше сътворено именно от студентите на Американски университет. Всички вие оставихте своите спомени, част от своите най-добри години в нашия град. И аз съм сигурен, че от тук нататък вие ще бъдете не просто посланици на Американски университет, не просто успешни хора. Вие сте част, вече сте посланници на самия град Бългоград, за което ви благодаря. Пожелавам на всички да бъдете здрави, на добър час и много успехи. Dear Mr. Rector, Your Excellencies, dear members of the Boards of Trustees, professors and dear graduates, and of course, dear parents, um, I'm really honored to be together with you again today. For more than 30 years, the American University in Bulgaria has been part of us, part of the pulse and part of the heart of Blagorovgrad. All of you have left your memories, maybe your best years, and that's why you will always remain part of our city. I'm not, I know, I'm convinced that you will stay forever somehow, and part of you will stay uh, here, and you will continue to be not only the ambassadors of the American University in Bulgaria, you will not only become successful people, but uh, you will always uh, be uh, the best uh, example of Blagojevgrad as well. And I'm very grateful to all of you for this. And now I would like to wish you a very successful road ahead. Thank you. Now it is my honor to introduce to you His Excellency Kenneth Merton, the United States Ambassador to Bulgaria. It's a particular honor because today is Ambassador Merton's first visit to the AUBG campus. He's been in, the, in Bulgaria for about five weeks, five and a half weeks. So it's great to have him join us. It's a distinct honor to have him join us for commencement today. Ambassador Merton. Dr. Evans, Mayor Stoyanov, fellow members of the diplomatic community, AUBG trustees, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, family, friends, and most importantly, students of the graduating class of 2023. Thank you for having me here. It's an honor to be with you on such an important day. As many of you know, I just arrived in Bulgaria about five and a half weeks ago, and this is my first visit to AUBG. This is an incredible campus. I, I hope nobody takes this badly, but I feel like I'm back home in the United States. This has a feel of, of an American campus, which for me is a very nice feeling. Um, this is an important institution for us, and we enjoy a close partnership between the embassy and AUBG. And I'm really looking forward to continuing to build on that partnership, uh, and I hope that I can be coming down here for many, many more visits. Now to our remarkable group of graduates today. Let me just say how really excited I am to join you on this important occasion for you. As you finish one chapter of your education and your lives and prepare to embark on the next one, I'd like to share a few very short pieces of advice for you to keep in mind as you brave the world that awaits you. First and foremost, you should always remember you can achieve great things. Successfully completing your course of study at AUBG is a laudable achievement, but still, it's only the beginning of your journey. Remember to give yourselves time, and you will find your abilities have no limit. When I think about how my life unfolded in unexpected ways, I'm reminded of something the great American naturalist John Muir once said. When one tugs at a single, as a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. I take, from that, I take from that this lesson. Do, the good, do all the good that you can in this world, and I believe good will come back to you. 
The world can be a tough and unforgiving place, but a little bit of kindness goes a long way. Whether it's a smile, a kind word, or a helping hand, never underestimate the power of your actions to make a positive impact in the world. Remember that AUBG showed you this kind of compassion and let that be its greatest lesson to you. Now many of you will go on to good and fulfilling jobs and sure repaying student loans is serious business, but so is preparing for marriage, home ownership, and raising a family. Staying home to raise children is also serious business and there is no more honorable work than making sure your children grow up to be intellectually curious, hardworking, and empathetic people. But in everyday transactions of life, whether as an employee, a parent, or a friend, the capacity for compassion and empathy is incredibly important. Remember that people will not always remember the specifics of what you've told them, but how you make them feel. And to the point about being intellectually curious, if you were among the ones who haven't done so already, I hope those of you who haven't will take a chance to study or work abroad, if only even for a little time. Once you take time to see how the rest of the world lives, you'll come back with a deeper appreciation of what your own country is, what it has done right, and what it can do better. And you'll have a deeper understanding of yourself as well. And you'll come back with fresh insights and lessons you can put to work in your own community and your own country. And if you dive in, you can be a catalyst for positive change. Many of you are from other countries and came here to study and have already proven that you have that spark of curiosity. We are honored that you spent this time at the American University in beautiful Bulgaria. You got an insight into two great cultures at once. I hope you made lifelong friends here and that you will always keep them and that you will come back often. When you're ready to return home, whether it's to another part of Bulgaria or to one of the dozens of other countries represented here today, strive to make your corner of the world a better place. And I want to leave you with one final thought, if I might. When thinking about your future, consider all your options and pick the one that feels right to you. Don't overlook the ideas that at first seem lacking in glamour or pay. Don't shy away from new and exciting adventures. Sometimes good things can come from unexpected places. To those of you who have your next five or ten years mapped out, or who think you do, that's terrific. Good luck to you. To those of, you don't, those of you who don't have a detailed plan, I say relax. Go out, try different things, expand your, your skills and your horizons, and sometimes things that might seem to be a setback prove to be terrific opportunities. So thank you for having me here today. Congratulations to all of you in the AUBG class of 2023. I wish you the very best. Thank you, Ambassador Merton. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you this year's student speaker, Christian Petrov. Christian Petrov is graduating with a double major in economics and business administration with a concentration in finance. His AUBG journey began in 2018 when he participated in the AUBG multi-talent quest, showcasing his diverse skills and talents. Since then, he has made active contributions to the university through his involvement in various student organizations. In the past year, Christian has held significant leadership positions in two clubs, combining his strong organizational and managerial skills with his passion for sports, healthy lifestyles, entrepreneurship, and business development. He served as the president of the AFC Griffins and as the treasurer of startup. Christian played a pivotal role in successfully organizing more than 15 events, providing engaging experiences for the entire AUBG community. These events attracted a considerable audience with over 1,500 people collectively attending. Notably, the Halloween charity party in fall 2022 raised 3,000 leva for breast cancer awareness. Christian is a valued member of the AUBG community. His commitment extends beyond graduation as he intends to continue his AUBG journey even after completing his degree. Please join me in welcoming Christian Petrov. Dear faculty, administration and staff members, parents, 
guests, and fellow colleagues from the class of 2023. We made it. As we are all gathered here at this joyous occasion, this day of celebration, and I can see the smiles beaming from your faces, I must make a confession. Standing before you, I am absolutely terrified. <laughs> terrified not only because this is the first time I am speaking in front of so many people, not only because I am not sure if I'll ever find a community like the one AUBG has, but mainly because as of tomorrow, we will enter what we the students call the real life. This fear has been with us throughout our whole life, and with the conclusion of our studies, it may seem daunting. But I'm not here to tell you not to be afraid. Quite the opposite. Because as Nelson Mandela said, courage is not the absence of fear. It is the triumph over it. Right from our first day here, we had to face our fears. We all remember these challenges. Leaving our families and learning how to live on our own. Being away from our friends and having to find new ones. And while for me, Blagojevgrad is just an hour away from home, for some of you, AUBG was on the other side of the globe. I can only imagine how scary it must have been to travel to a new country that speaks a different language and has its own distinct culture and traditions. And yet, you did it. Academically, we took courses that were not in our areas of expertise. Most of you will relate to the anxious feeling I had before my first math and science lectures. And yet, you did it. Those of us in student organizations know the knots in your stomach before an event. The hundreds of hours of unseen work, the countless meetings, all done to create something that only lasts a couple of hours but benefits the community. And yet, we did that. In 2020, we had to learn how to live and be students in a whole new world with uncertainty looming from every corner. And yet, we did that. The fear in the past four years that we had to find a job or an internship during the academic year or for the summer. And yet, we did that. Looking back, AOBG has forced us through some of the scariest moments of our lives. But at the same time, the university was there, right by us, at every step to provide us with all the tools and support necessary to combat these fears. Everyone from our professors, hall directors, administration, accounting department, to our building managers has always been there for us when we needed them. As we leave AOBG today, I could say the hard part is over. That is simply not the case. We are yet to face so many challenges. But if there is one thing that can alleviate that fear, it is knowing that whatever you're doing, you're not alone. In the past four years, as part of the AUBG community, we have met people and established relationships that will last a lifetime. These people, who we call friends, will be by our side through all the obstacles we overcome in the future. We are familiar with the famous quote, if something doesn't scare you, then it's not worth doing. So, class of 2023, go out there, find something that scares you, and conquer it. Speaking of being scared and conquering, uh, if you're following along in the program, you'll notice that we're going to switch the order a little bit. And let me explain why. Uh, we print the programs a little bit ahead of time before the script is completely finished, and for some logistical and flow reasons, we've changed the order a little bit. So please do not be distressed. Um, the other thing is, if we were to go back and try to reorganize this into what's in the program, Everybody up here, especially me, would have a nervous breakdown, which would not be good for your celebration. So, an important part of the American University in Bulgaria's mission is not only to prepare students for successful careers, but also to inspire them to bring positive change on society, whether at a local or global level. 
the Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Luisa Distinguished AUBG Alumni Award for Civic Leadership and Change aims to honor a graduate of the university who has taken this idea to heart and made an impact on the world around them. This year's AUBG Distinguished Alumni Award for Civic Leadership and Change will be presented by Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Luisa, member of the AUBG Board of Trustees, and also a recipient of the Doctor of Humane Letters honorary degree from the university in 2012. I would invite Manol Pekov to join us to be recognized. <laughs> Manol graduated from the English Language School in Plovdiv and from AUBG with its first class in 1995. And as I mentioned earlier, in 2008, he graduated from AUBG with the Executive MBA. He runs Janet 45, one of the leading Bulgarian publishing companies founded by his mother. Since 2009, he has organized more than 40 book tours around Bulgaria with writers from all over the world. After the beginning of the war in Ukraine in early 2022, Manol started collecting donations for the Ukrainian cause through his personal Facebook account. He's collected more than 1.5 million leva to date plus another 1.5 million for those affected by the massive earthquake in Turkey and northern Syria in February 2023. Manol translates poetry and is the recipient of the Plovdiv Award two times and the Hristo G. Danov National Translation Award for his renderings of Samuel Taylor Coleridge, E. Cummings, and Lawrence Ferlinghetti in Bulgarian. And this is three sort of different poets, so this is pretty important. Manol is also the co-creator and the co-owner of the Pekarnata Sound Recording Studios in Sofia, as well as the founder of Sofia Literary, the only agency in the country actively engaged in promoting and selling the rights of Bulgarian writers to foreign markets. Now I would like to invite Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Luisa uh, to, to give the award to Manol Pekov. It is a great joy and privilege for me to be able to award Manol this uh, award, which is nothing compared to all the things that he has done for Bulgaria and for his alma mater. Here it is. That's quite spectacular. <laughs> I, I guess now it's my turn to say a few words, and it's hot, and I'm sure you all want to go home and celebrate. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, congratulate the graduates, and there come first, then come official guests or VIPs, but you are the important people today. And congratulations on your new world, new life, starting right today. Uh, commencement is the word for the beginning. It's very hot and I'll be very short, but I have to tell you that I love this place. I joined this wonderful university long before some of you were born even, when two wonderful Bulgarians, Stefan Gruev and Dimi Panitsa, invited me to join the board. And that was 24 years ago. And I've been on it and loved it, but now at 90, I think I've got the right to retire. <laughs> so, <laughs> all the best to all of you and you'll always be in my heart, to, and if I can ever do anything for the AUBG, I'll do it. Long live AUBG, the Jive Bulgaria. everyone. I am the deputy chair of the board and chair of the trustee committee and this part is not in your programs. The reason for that is because it was meant to be a surprise. Today it is my pleasure and honor to introduce and recognize 
Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Louisa of Bulgaria. Princess Maria Louisa has been a longtime friend and supporter of the American University of Bulgaria. She has served on the IUBG Board of Trustees for a total of six terms from May 1999 to October 2009, and again from May 2017 until today. In the intervening years, she served multiple terms on the University Council. In May 2011, in recognition of her distinguished service to the University, she received our highest award, the Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Throughout her association with AUBG, Princess Maria Louisa has been a stalwart advocate of the university's mission, a kind and generous supporter of the campus community, and a good friend to all of us. She has served as a direct connection to Bulgaria's history and a symbol of grace and resilience in the face of many different kinds of adversity and turmoil. Those who have the pleasure of knowing her see her kindness, her sharp but understated sense of humor, and her amazing combination of old world manners and contemporary outlook. The AUBG community is fortunate that she is part of it. Today, we celebrate Princess Maria Louisa on her retirement from the AUBG Board of Trustees, which she has served with genuine distinction and steadfastness. I'm happy to announce two formal ways of honoring her support for our university. First, as a sincere gesture of gratitude from the board of, to the princess, we have created a new category, the Princess Maria Louisa Emeritus Trustees, for retiring members who have served the university with special distinction, and we have unanimously and enthusiastically voted to name her the first one. In the future, we will continue to honor both the princess and the future Princess Maria Louisa Emeritus trustees who have been vital to AUBG's success and thriving. Please join me in congratulating and thanking Princess Maria Louisa, our first Princess Maria Louisa Emeritus Trustee. Second, I'm delighted to announce that we have also created an endowed fund to support the Moral Courage Scholarship in perpetuity. The Moral Courage Scholarship has been Princess Maria Louisa's project throughout her service to AUBG. Inspired by her father's refusal to surrender Bulgaria's Jewish community to the Nazis in 1943, the scholarship will annually recognize an incoming student who has sought to do the right thing in the face of real personal risk. In a difficult world full of tough ethical dilemmas, the Moral Courage Scholarship will inspire students to keep integrity and positive values first. This endowment ensures that the scholarship will continue to be available to students who have been who have exemplified the bravery necessary to stand up against wrong. Please join me in thanking Princess Maria Luisa one more time for her wonderful service and support of AUBG. It is now my great honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Manol Pekov, who you've already met, who just received the prestigious AUBG Distinguished Alumni Award for Civic Leadership. 
a testament to his dedication and commitment to excellence. Today, we have the privilege of hearing from a visionary man and civic leader who has made a significant impact on society. His remarkable achievements and contributions best exemplify the values that we hold dear at AUBG. Let us welcome with great pride and admiration, Mr. Manol Pekoff. This thing is uncomfortable. <clears throat> Dear almost graduates from the class of 2023, congratulations on making it this far. I want to especially salute all the cum laudes, magna cum laudes, summa cum laudes amongst you. And to the rest of you, I'd like to say that 28 years ago on this day, I ended up just as loud and less as you. But look at me now. I may not have a loud, but I have a sword, which I got 10 days ago at a Man of the Year ceremony organized by one of the leading radio stations in the country. Um, a few minutes before receiving the award, I glimpsed at the list of the previous winners over the last 25 years. Curiously, I didn't know the guy from last year, but the one from the year before, I knew darn well, since he was from my class at AUBG. Which brings me to a quote uh, by the late Kurt Vonnegut. True terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running the country. The question was, how did I get this far? It didn't start very promisingly. On 28th of August, 1991, after having been rejected twice by Sofia University, I queued up in front of a classroom in Blagoevgrad with a bunch of former classmates from high school to take an entrance exam at the newly established American University in Bulgaria. Two weeks later, everyone else received an admission letter, not me though, my mother was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Thankfully, this only lasted for a couple of days due to an unexpected turn of events. A rumor reached us that there had been a computer mistake during the exam checking procedure, and we rushed to Blagoevgrad in what was perhaps my fastest trip ever from Plovdiv to Blago. Lo and behold, the computer mistake was confirmed and I received an apology accompanied by an admission letter. That's how it all started. A couple of months later, after I had befriended the then president secretary, I found out straight from the horse's mouth that there had been no computer mistake at all. It was much more mundane than that. When the exams were taken for checking, one box out of seven was forgotten behind the door of the president's office, only to be discovered after the results had already been published. True story. That's how makeshift and ad hoc the whole place was at the time. Still, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Most of our freshly arrived American teachers had brought from their home country stacks of fresh toilet paper, which was sorely lacking in Blagojevgrad at the time. Some of them smoked in the classroom, and one even had the weird habit of chewing tobacco during classes, the leftovers of which he dutifully spat in a Pepsi bottle. <laughs> at the outset, there were only eight faculty members. During our first semester at AUBG, if I remember correctly, there were only six courses on offer, out of which we had to choose five. <laughs> True. Those of us who had spent a year or two at various Bulgarian universities before coming here noted that AUBG was perhaps somewhat lacking in terms of depth. But it more than compensated for that with breadth, also known as the miracle of the liberal arts curriculum. The classes I took over the years would have probably taken half a lifetime at 10 separate normal university programs in Bulgaria. Among other things, I studied 
epistemology, symbolic logic, Neolithic culture, Habsburg history, astronomy, theater, computer science, Arthurian literature, choir singing, photography, as well as a course in philosophy entitled Art, Perception, and Truth. What made AUBG special is that it offered us, in a quite unassuming way, that the ability to inhabit different worlds, different bodies, and above all, different minds. Perhaps even more importantly, rather than simply preaching freedom, it taught us how to practice freedom. In the classroom, as well as outside, in the numerous university clubs and the student government. We were free to choose the classes we wanted, in the order we wanted, and when we were denied the right for a brief period during our fourth year, we went striking against the university administration until our rights were duly reinstated. To say that I was the best student would be a blatant overstatement. I was in fact so busy doing all sorts of social work, from student rep to the board to chair of the student senate, that I barely found the time to open a textbook. In my defense, I'll say I rarely ever missed a class and was a very skillful note taker, which saved my ass on more than one occasion. I was also the eternal procrastinator. I frequently finished the semester with incompletes and sometimes had to hunt my professors down at the very gate of their US-bound flights at the year's end in order to turn in my essays, of which I have recurrent nightmares to this very day. <laughs> at the end of one such hectic semester, a beloved professor by the name of Peter Wozniak told me something I'd never forget. He said, Manol, I think you'd make a great teacher except I don't know what discipline you're going to teach. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, this was one of the greatest compliments I'd ever received. Because my life after graduating from AUBG has been something of a mirror image of my experience here, at least in terms of breadth. After spending a few months in Guatemala, learning one of the languages of the Mayas, I spent a year at Sofia University learning Japanese. Then I started what became a rather successful free cultural weekly in my hometown of Plovdiv, recorded a CD with my studio, which took me about 10 years, but is still the go-to place in Sofia. In the mid-2000s, I joined my mother's printing business and added to her portfolio a digital printing company. I also joined her publishing company, starting a line of books in translation and organizing more than uh, 40 book tours around the country with authors from all over the world. I was even elected a member of Bulgarian parliament. But none of these achievements has brought me the wide recognition that I've earned over the last year. Again, it was something wildly unrelated to my alleged competencies, at least on the surface. Since the beginning of the war in the Ukraine, I've been able to collect donations to the amount of one and a half million leva through my personal Facebook account. Then, in only a week's time, another million and a half for the earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria. Strangely, it wasn't some sort of a thought out initiative, but came to me just as naturally as everything else before that. Aristotle famously said that educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. With hindsight, I do believe that in more than one way, this latter type of education of the heart might very well be AUBG's core competence. Good education does not really happen in the classroom. It is like osmosis. It kind of penetrates through the cellular walls. These days, they invite me to all sorts of interviews and talks, much like Dr. Wozniak predicted 30 years ago. I'm a great teacher in the making, but I'm still in search of my real subject. I think it might be called life. In short, 
regardless of ending up in Parliament, I believe I've had a pretty meaningful life journey so far. And my studies at AUBG were key in giving me the original push along that journey. And while I'm at it, I'd like to share with you some of the lessons I've learned along the way, free of charge. One. Reaching your predetermined goal is less important than movement itself. The really important stuff might be waiting for you at some crossroad down the road, but you'll never make it there if you don't start the journey. Two, there's no authority that you can't face when justice is on your side. To quote uh, Atticus Finch, a character from one of the greatest American novels, To Kill a Mockingbird, the one thing that does not abide by majority rule is a person's conscience. Three, never take yourself too seriously. It always backfires. You're in a much stronger position when you have a healthy amount of self-doubt and self-irony comfortably stuck in your breast pocket. Four, Everything, uh, this is a quote, by the way, by the uh, great Bulgarian actor Kamen Donev. He said it's about art, but I think it's true about life in general. Everything should be done with measure. And when you surpass the measure, you should do it with measure. Five. It's a quote by uh, a self-made American billionaire and a very humble man, Warren Buffett. He said, a look for three things in a person, intelligence, energy, and integrity. If they don't have the last one, don't even bother. And the last one is my favorite from St. Francis of Assisi. He famously said, first do what is necessary, then do what is possible, and before you know it, you're doing the impossible. That's all. I promise to try and be here in 28 years to hear your speeches. Stay strong and glory to the Ukraine. Thank you, Manol. I would now like to ask all of those in the audience who are parents, grandparents, and spouses of the graduates to stand and remain standing. Thank you. You are an extraordinary group. You have made sacrifices to make this day possible, and you have taken the risk of sending your sons and your daughters and your grandchildren and for some your spouses to this unique university. You've made a significant investment in the future for your families and for your countries. I now ask the graduating class please to rise and face your families. S students, please join me in applauding those who have given you the support and love that have brought you to this day. Thank you very much. Thank all of you. Please be seated. It is now the time in our ceremony when we recognize those students who have distinguished themselves in the field of academics and in community service. Would the cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude students please rise and remain standing. And we'll give it to Manol ex post facto here too. Congratulations. The cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude students will graduate with grade point averages of 3.5, 3.75, and 3.9, respectively. Given the rigor of the academic curriculum at AUBG, this is a hard-earned accomplishment. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You may now be seated. 
The valedictorian and salutatorian are the graduates with the highest and second highest GPAs in their classes. Three students finish their academic careers with a GPA of 3.98 on a four-point scale. Is that one A minus? Uh, and are the salutatorians of the class of 2023. I will first introduce them. Will Lubomira Alexova please rise? Lubomira is graduating with a double major in economics and business administration and a minor in modern languages and cultures with French. She has won outstanding achievement awards in economics, business administration with an emphasis on finance and French. She has also received an outstanding Writing Center Tutor Award and is a Presidential and Dean's List Scholar. She plans to pursue a master's degree in finance, insurance, and risk management in Italy and work in the field of risk management. Congratulations. <laughs> Will Eva Ivanova please rise? Eva is an ambitious and highly motivated student from Bulgaria. She is graduating with a double major in mathematics and economics. She has shown an outstanding academic achievement and has achieved a grade point average of 3.984. Eva successfully defended a senior thesis in mathematics on the topic root systems and applications and achieved a perfect score on the economic state exam. She has also won a silver honor and a national award for best participant from Bulgaria during the last three editions of the Interna International Youth Math Challenge and an award for outstanding achievement in mathematics. Eva plans to pursue, pursue a master's and a PhD in the field of mathematics. Congratulations, Eva. <laughs> Will Irena Gergieva please rise? With a strong academic background, Irena has successfully graduated with a double major in business administration and economics, along with a minor in modern languages and cultures with a focus in Spanish. Irena's commitment to excellence is evident in her remarkable G point, grade point average of 3.98. As for her short-term personal plans, she aspires to apply her acquired set of skills and pursue a career in the dynamic field of marketing. It sounds like she might have written that, that dynamic field of marketing thing is kind of dynamic field of marketing language. In terms of her long-term plans, she envisions a future where she can explore diverse career opportunities, follow her passion, and leave a mark on the world around her. Congratulations, Irena. <laughs> now I'm happy to introduce the valedictorians of the class of 2023. Will Stephanie Dushilova please rise? Stephanie is graduating with a bachelor's degree in business administration with a concentration in management and journalism and mass communication. Recently, she received an award for outstanding achievement in management that recognized her hard work, civic engagement, and ambition throughout her studies at AUBG. Apart from having a GPA of 4.0, Stephanie is also the co-founder and president of the Associates Consulting Club. She managed to combine these agendas while also working part-time as a project manager. Stephanie wants to obtain a PhD in marketing management and develop professionally in the business sphere. Congratulations, Stephanie. <laughs> Will Nicoletta Stefanova please rise? Nicoletta is a dedicated and caring student from Bulgaria. She is the recipient of a full scholarship from the America for Bulgaria Foundation. At Honors Convocation, she was awarded Outstanding Student in Journalism and Mass Communication. When entering AUBG, she wrote an essay on why she strives to be a Renaissance person of many talents, and throughout her four years here has demonstrated that by achieving a cumulative grade point average of 4.0. In her future, Nicoletta wants to be a writer, an audio producer, and an educator, but most of all, a good human being. Congratulations, Nicoletta. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce our outstanding EMBA graduates. It has become a tradition to recognize at this ceremony outstanding students from the graduating EMBA class. This year, two candidates for an MBA degree have been selected for their outstanding performance and achievements. 
I am pleased to introduce Dina Jabali first. <laughs> Dina is an accomplished woman from Syria who emigrated to Bulgaria eight years ago following three years of living amidst the turmoil of the war there. Despite facing significant obstacles, she has achieved remarkable success in the telecommunication industry, a sector that is typically dominated by men. Through her hard work, determination, and unwavering commitment to excellence, Dina has managed to build a prosperous career in this field. Along with her husband, Anik, and their very young son, Hari, Dina has established a happy and loving family in Bulgaria. Despite the challenges of adjusting to a new country and a new culture, she has thrived both personally and professionally in her new home. Recently, Dina received recognition for her academic achievements in the EMBA program, even while simultaneously managing the responsibilities of motherhood and a full-time job. This is a testament to her exceptional work ethic and determination to pursue excellence in all areas of her life. Dina's remarkable potential for leadership is evident in her authenticity and bravery in the face of adversity. Her passion for making the world a better place has led her to volunteer her time and energy to help refugees and those in need. Through her selfless efforts, Dina is making a positive impact on the lives of countless individuals, and she is an inspiration to us all. Please congratulate Dina Jabali. The second outstanding EMBA graduate is Hristo Kirchev. <laughs> Hristo's innate perfectionism was constantly in a struggle with the tight deadlines and challenging academic workload of the EMBA program. Still, with the invaluable support of his family, friends, and cohort, he successfully balanced work obligations and achieved high academic standing. He has demonstrated exceptional potential for critical thinking, a strong analytical mindset, leadership, strategic business focus, and commitment to serving the community. Please congratulate Christo Kirchev. It is now my distinct honor to introduce this year's Presidential Medalist. This award is conferred each year upon the senior who best exemplifies the goal of, of the liberal arts tradition combining high academic achievement with significant contributions to the university and the community. It gives me great pleasure to recognize again today Veljana Georgieva, Presidential Medalist of the Class of 2023. Veli, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Veljana Georgieva was born on September 26th in Petrich. She's very, very young. Uh, in Petrich, Bulgaria, she moved to Sofia in order to pursue her high school diploma. During her studies in Sofia, she became one of the presidents of one of the biggest youth NGOs in Bulgaria, Bulgaria of the Young. It was established by her friends and, during their, and, during, and her during their high school years. She was president of the Model EU Bulgovgrad from 2020 to 2022 and president of the student government at AUBG during this past academic year. Congratulations again, Veli. Now is the moment that you really have all come here for. Your moment has arrived. Will Provost Minninger please come to the podium to begin the conferral of degrees? <laughs> Will the candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree please rise and remain standing. Mr. President, the candidates presented before you have been recommended by the faculty of the American University in Bulgaria as having completed all requirements for the degree Master of Business Administration. On behalf of the trustees of the American University in Bulgaria, and in accordance with the authority vested in them by the Republic of Bulgaria, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Masters of Business Administration. Will you please come forward to receive your degrees? Hey. 
We want to ask Dr. Steve McGuire, a member of the EMBA faculty who has been with the program since Cohort 7 and has contributed greatly to its success, to join us on stage to congratulate the graduates. Ardiola Alikai. Peter Andrev. Konstantin Atanasov. This is Slava Baltova. Vanessa Bujikova. Alexandra Dimitrova. Gabriela Georgieva. Bojidar Kisyakov. Petr Kustadinov. Miroslava Kuyumjian. Irina Lapadjova. Ivan Mechev. Milen Naidenov. Teodor Naidenov. Martin Pavlov. Rumiana Peneva. Emma Popova. Anna Spasova. Laura Stanimirova. Alexander Stoyanov. Lyubka Tancheva. Alexander Todorov. Teodora Todorova. Albena Zaharieva.
How about one more round of applause for our EMBA graduates? All right. Ready? Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree please rise and remain standing? Mr. President, the candidates presented before you have been recommended by the faculty of the American University in Bulgaria as having completed all requirements for the Bachelor of Arts degree. On behalf of the trustees of the American University in Bulgaria and in accordance with the authority vested in them by the Republic of Bulgaria, I hereby confer upon each of you the AUBG Bachelor of Arts degree. Graduates, will you please come forward to receive your degrees? As we will process one row at a time, I would ask only the row to receive diplomas to remain standing. Gambat Adyasuran. Dorontine Aliu, cum laude. Abdullah Rashid Al-Kater. Erisa Luan Alla, cum laude. Dulam Soren Amarsana, cum laude. Martin Angelov. Victoria Apostolo. Yvette Arabova, cum laude. Margarita Arsova. Vera Arzumanian. David Atanasovsky. Cum laude. Sorry, David. Mario Atanasovsky. Marco. Lubomir Avramov. Teodora Bachvarova, cum laude. Antoana Bakalova, cum laude. Aleksandra Balkanska, magna cum laude. Erin Banushi, magna cum laude. Kristina Bajčeva.
Ilyam Bengyuzov. Elizaveta Blizinska, cum laude. Jeliana Borisova. Madeline Kaye Bodro, cum laude. Monica Bujajieva, magna cum laude. Janica Bojnova. Ivan Bojčev. Georgia Bresenio. Nicolas Bruchnev. Sofia Budeva. Anastasia Buzduga, magna cum laude. Iksmira Chabey. Eneida Chakr, cum laude. Hermes Chati, cum laude. Eliza Chaneva, cum laude. Tamar Chanidze, magna cum laude. Aleksandar Černev. Spencer Collins, cum laude. Eva Conevski, cum laude. Nevena Damjanlijeva. Valeria de Almeida Amaral. Cristian Dejanov, magna cum laude. Deja Dimanova, suma cum laude. Alex Dimitrov, cum laude. Cristiana Dimitrova, cum laude. Cristina Dimitrova, magna cum laude. Laura Dimitrova.
Monica Dimitrova, Magna Cum Laude. Надежда Димитрова, Кум Лауде. Ели Динкова, Кум Лауде. Гергана Динкова. Елизабет Дженгозов. Александра Джурджевич. Димитър Донев. Магна Кум Лауде. Николета Врндева. Мария Филипова. Кум лауде. Александрина Гълъбова. Яна Гълъбова. Ламен Галинов. Сума кум лауде. Кристияна Гавраилова. Валери Генев. Александър Георгиев. Андрей Георгиев. Кум лауде. Кирил Георгиев. Ейма Георгиева, кум лауде. Габриела Георгиева, сума кум лауде. Златина Георгиева. Анета Гергинова, Магна Кум Лауде. Юрген Гини, Магна Кум Лауде. Бригена Гоци, Магна Кум Лауде. Кенис Гюзи. Дженис Гюзи. Кум лауде. Мари Гойганджиева. Николай Гранчаров. Мариями Гугушвили, кум лауде. Тома Гушо.
Кейса Хаска, Магна Кумлауде. Хава Ходжа, Сума Кумлауде. Лейдон Ходжа, Кумлауде. Павел Христов. Александър Хуман. Анна Гузенко. Йони Хюсай. Александър Илиев. Райко Илиев. Адрейна Илиева. Ирина Ирич. Абдел Рахман Исмаил. Мирослав Иванчев, кум лауде. Алекс Иванов, сума кум лауде. Ранимир Иванов, кум лауде. Ивайло Иванов. Златомир Иванов. Елизабет Иванова, кум лауде. Жоржина Иванова. Мирослава Ивайлова, кум лауде. Надежда Калоферова, сума кум лауде. Кейси Капай. Иван Караджов. Симона Кара Георгиева, сума кум лауде. Костадин Казаков. Никол Кишкин, магна кум лауде.
Влада Колесникова, кум лауде. Даниела Конова, сума кум лауде. Илия Костадиновски. Георги Костов, кум лауде. Владимир Котовски. Никита Козиренко. Полина Кучкина, кум лауде. Дамян Кулуковски. Светослава Кумчева, магна кум лауде. Виктория Кузманова, сума кум лауде. Ники Лачей. Петро Даниел Леон, кум лауде. Джердж Лока, кум лауде. Жоро Луков. Александър Любенов. Анджело Мани, кум лауде. Ивелина Маркова, кум лауде. Анел Мерам Бескузу. Герхард Мема. Тодор Методиев, кум лауде. Весела Михайлова, сума кум лауде. Джоел Мило. Иван Минчев, кум лауде. Мартин Минчев. Александър Миранджиев. Александър Митинов. Мартин Митов. Мария Виктория Митова, кум лауде. Тони Младенов.
Ilijana Moskova. Anastasia Mozgova. Cum laude. Clea Muka. Gent Mulaku. Suma cum laude. Cristina Miuftaraga, summa cum laude. Brikena Miuftalari, magna cum laude. Daria Najdenova, cum laude. Ralica Nančeva, cum laude? Tracy Nanushi, suma cum laude? Petar Nedev. Ves Neziri. Erisa Gieci. Cum laude. Tchong Tran Huang Gwen. Aleksandar Nikolov. Ljudmil Nikolov. Diana Nikolova. Kamelia Nikolova, magna cum laude. Maria Nikolova, cum laude. Vanessa Nikolova. Jovana Nojkova. Dijas Omirov. Arkleida Oshafi. Nikolaj Pačev, magna cum laude. Elia Pančova, cum laude. Eva Pančuk.
Jimiter Parapanov. Teodora Pacovska. Vjara Pavlova, cum laude. Shannon Pereira. Georgi Petkov, magna cum laude. Borislav Petrov. Peter Petrov. Ani Petrova. Joana Petrova, magna cum laude. Vladimir Petrunov. Petja Porominska. Jordan Rachev. Dunja Rajković, cum laude. Aleksandros Ramaj, magna cum laude. Cristian Ranchov, cum laude. Dimo Rezaški, suma cum laude. Plamen Rizov. Radoslav Rusinov. Dajan Sebeva. Marina Sebeva. Iva Samareva. Ailen Shani, cum laude. Neno Šumarski. Antonio Simeonov, cum laude. Simona Simeonova, cum laude. Mihael, Mihael Stambuliska.
Kliment Stamenkovs, magna cum laude. Desislava Stamova. Martin Stančev. Kera Staneva, summa cum laude. Darina Stoeva, cum laude. Martin Stuilkov. Vasil Stojanov. Martina Stojanova, cum laude. Elena Stojčeva. Radina Terzijska, magna cum laude. Tomislav Tomov. Jordan Toshev. Elena Tosheva. Mikhail Trifonov, summa cum laude. Alice Tsocheva, cum laude. Nicole Tsolova, cum laude. Marina Tsutsumanova, cum laude. Vasilka Tsutsumanova. Cristian Svetkov, magna cum laude. Presijana Cvetkova, cum laude. Bulgu de Tufšintulga. Binderia Osuk Bajar, magna cum laude. Leonardo Vakavlijev, cum laude. Mila Vakavlijeva. Svetelina Vakašinska, cum laude. La Cezar Vălev, cum laude. Ana Vălevă. Presiana Vălcova, cum laude. Ivian Vulov. Mar 
Monika Varadinova. Dragomir Vasilev. Emanuel Vasilev. Sijana Vasileva. Teodora Vasileva, magna cum laude. Jana Weizmann, summa cum laude. Mihaela Vojdenova. Joana Vučkova, magna cum laude. Deni Gerai, cum laude. Emiliano Giucelari, magna cum laude. Reneta Jakimova. Vladimir Zahmanov. Vasil Zaimov. Danilo Zajcev. Mihail Zarev. Tihomir Želev. Ljubomira Aleksova, summa cum laude. Iva Ivanova, summa cum laude. Irena Georgieva, summa cum laude. Stefani Dušilova, summa cum laude. Nicoleta Stefanova, summa cum laude. Cristian Petrov, magna cum laude. Veliana Georgieva, magna cum laude. Hristo Kjurkčijev. Dina Žabali. Graduates, please rise. In the time-honored tradition, to indicate your status now as university graduates, 
and holders of bachelor's and master's degrees, will the members of the graduating class of 2023 please shift your tassels from right to left. Congratulations! Please be seated. First of all, let me say, this is not in the script, but let me say how much I love shaking each of your hands and watching the combination of nerves and relief and joy and pride and, oh my God, I'm gonna fall down the stairs. Um, <laughs> But no, really, this is, uh, for those of us, we've been talking about this this week in the administration, for those of us who are um, involved in, in any way in, in uh, commencement and, and so on, it really is the best day of the year. And we love doing it, and we love seeing all of you and celebrating all of your achievements. So please, again, feel congratulated by all of us. We love you. I'd like to conclude with a few other personal remarks. You today's graduates have received a unique education in this part of the world. You took a risk to come here for your educations. We know you are well prepared for the next phase of your lives and we send you forth today with a feeling of pride knowing that your future achievements and success will help define the development of this country, the region, and the many other home countries that you represent as you take your places in business, NGOs, in government, and in graduate education. On this auspicious day, I know that you have high expectations for your futures. We have those expectations for you as well. Those expectations are well-earned and well-deserved. I challenge you to fulfill your personal goals and to make a conscious effort to give back to society for the greater good. Regardless of how you measure your own personal success, success is earned, not given. Go forward with courage and conviction and look back with fondness on your years at AUBG and always be proud to have been a part of this wonderful institution of higher education. I encourage you now, as our newest alumni, to stay involved with the university. Again, congratulations to all of you. May your dreams and aspirations become the realities of your tomorrows, and I join with the faculty, the staff, the students who have gone before you, and the administration to congratulate you and wish you all the very best. This concludes the 29th commencement of the American University in Bulgaria and 29 commencements without rain. So far, I would like to thank Mr. Boris Yanov and the Big Band Blagovgrad for providing today's music and I thank all of you for sharing our special days. We would ask that you remain in your seats until the recessional is completed. Then please join us at the ABF Center for a reception in honor of the graduates.